Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Lycan AK here back with another gameplay commentary for you guys back on Battlefield 1 today We've just gotten some more news about Battlefield 1 and its new content and its new update uh, to balance some of the current meta that's going on with uh, Battlefield 1 and it's actually quite a lot of information that they've just recently released uh, to the CTE service so as I'm doing this commentary you can actually try these uh, new updates out on the CTE server so first things first I know you guys are going to be quite excited to hear this information but Battlefield 1 has four brand new weapons coming to Battlefield 1 uh, it's going to be available for everybody you're not required to have premium as far as I know and it's going to be one brand new gun for each and every class so the medic assault support and the sniper or scout kit whichever you want to call it are going to get a brand new weapon and it's not essentially an entirely new weapon like how battlefield one got its new weapon dlc but it's going to be new weapon variants of the current existing level 10 guns now what does this mean exactly it means that the hell regal the martini henry the hewitt and the Selp Slatter 1906 Sniper are going to be getting new variants. So first things first guys, I'll show you guys some of the images on screen. Starting with the Hell Regal 1915, it has a defensive variant. And this one is actually quite interesting. The Hell Regal is my favorite gun of all time. And the fact that th just looking at this gun already, it has 120 bullets in a magazine that is ridiculous I have even never heard of such a thing before and so you're gonna get 120 in reserve as well so this gun I am going to be unlocking this gun first definitely I'm very excited to see that they have a brand new variant of this some people are actually quite angry over this the fact that now the hell regal is even more overpowered uh, but we'll just have to see how this plays out I think the hell regal is a very good gun in my opinion very good in the right hands of course now to unlock this you're gonna need to do quite a lot of challenges you're gonna want to perform 300 kills with the hell regal 1915 and perform 25 kills with the AT mines these can be completed in any order it doesn't really matter you can do them at the same time as well the AT mines are gonna be quite interesting for me because I don't really use the mines that much uh, so it's gonna be quite interesting Interesting to see how uh, that plays out in regards to trying to complete that challenge. Moving on to the next weapon for the medic class, we have the Selb Slatter 1906 Sniper variant. Uh, this gun, I potentially really don't care about, to be honest. Uh, same rules apply. You're going to want to perform 300 kills with the Selb Slider 1906. That is the Selb Slider variant that has the five bullets in the mag, not the 26. So don't get excited. This is going to be very hard for those who don't use the level 10 medic gun. I don't use it either, and I particularly don't really care for this weapon. I may go for it just for bragging rights, but other than that, I could probably really care less about that gun. And also, you're going to want to perform 25 kills with the rifle grenades. Very easy to do. You can do that in like one or two games probably. Moving on, we have the Hewitt Automatic Optical Variant. This is actually pretty interesting. The Hewitt's a very good gun. It got buffed recently in one of the latest patches for the winter update. And it has 26 in a mag still, but it's nice that it has a little optical on it. Uh, so you're going to want to perform 300 kills with the Hewitt Automatic and 25 kills with the Lumpy Charge. Uh, Lumpy Charges are very easy to use. I use them all the time. You guys see them in my stream. All you got to do is just stick it on the tank. It deals 45 flat damage, which is very good in my opinion. So I'm quite excited to see all of that. Moving on, and last but not least, we have the Martini Henry Sniper variant. Uh, so essentially, the only difference is that it's going to have a scope on it. Still going to have one in the mag. You have to rechamber every shot. But... Uh, it, this this variant is actually going to be pretty interesting. I'm certainly going to try it out once I move on to the scout class and try to hit rank 50 on all of my classes. But uh, to unlock these guns, not only do you have to complete the challenges, but you do have to be level 10 uh, on your current class that you want to unlock. So if you want to go for the Martini Henry, you have to be level 10 to be able to get the brand new variant. Uh, so that's the only way to get that. And then you can proceed to unlock the challenges. But other than that, these guns look pretty decent. I will certainly be going for the new Hell Regal variant because that just looks like an absolute blast of a time to use, in my opinion. These are currently available now in CTE service, so for those who have Premium and have Battlefield 1 on PC, you can definitely go give these a shot. I'm going to see if I can download CTE now because I actually don't have Battlefield 1 on PC. I have the trial, uh, but as, since I do have Battlefield 1 Premium on PS4, that, that actually carries over to PC. Uh, for when it comes to registration so you can actually use CTE there so I'm certainly going to give it a shot see what it's like other than that guys that's pretty much it for the weapons moving on to some of the updates that we can see uh, to balance some of the current uh, problems going on in Battlefield 1 one being grenade spam you're going to run into the problem of that grenade spam or other maps such as Argon Forest 
These are some of the close quarter maps that we see for infantry only. Not many vehicles, if any, are on it. And honestly, the grenade spam is currently a problem. Uh, DICE has said that the grenade spam has been reduced down to 7%, but they are not taking into account the amount of deaths that you're picking up from grenades. Death by grenades has increased by almost 10% over this past weekend, especially during double XP. And that's one factor that a lot of people have not looked at. So what is DICE doing to implement these changes and fix the current problem? Ammo 2.0. It's what they're calling it for the brand new changes that they're going to be making to the ammo resupply system. So, first things first, one thing that they're going to be doing is adding auto recharge to every single gadget in Battlefield 1. This can either be a very good thing or a very bad thing. I'm not really entirely sure what are DICE's uh, plans for implementing this type of feature, but here's what they have going on. So, currently, your grenade auto recharges at 36 seconds. That includes suppression. That is not when you're sitting on an ammo kit. It's going to be a flat 36 second recharge rate for the grenades. Ammo 2.0, when this changes get implemented, which are already implemented in CTE, as I stated earlier, this is going to add auto recharge of 36 seconds to all of your gadgets in the game. This includes rifle grenades, AT rockets, anti-tank grenades, pretty much anything that is used as an equipment for your class that is going to add a 36 second timer. Now here's the catch. It's not just going to auto recharge to 36 seconds. If you are suppressed, you, your timer stops and your timer does not continue unless you are out of suppression. So could this be a good thing for Battlefield 1? It can really be a hit or miss. I haven't, like I said, I haven't tried it yet, so I can't judge it based off of just I'm here, just of what I'm seeing on the Reddit forums. But 36 seconds is a pretty decent recharge time. Now, if you're suppressed, like I said, which you're pretty much always going to be suppressed on maps like Fort Vaux, Argonne Forest, and a few other close quarters maps, this can this could be a good thing. But at the same time, I still don't agree with the fact that we're auto recharging all of our equipment. Now, here's the other catch as well. This is the other plans that they want to implement with Ammo 2.0. Uh, I believe your timer still remains the same if you are sitting on an ammo box or an ammo kit. And here's the other catch. Let's say I throw all three of my anti-tank grenades. And in case you didn't know, you're going to get three now. Three anti-tank grenades. Let's say I throw all three of them. I'm only going to recharge up to one anti-tank grenade for up to 36 seconds. So I'm only going to recharge one as long as I stay alive. Now let's say I throw all three, but I've just died. Not only are you only going to recharge one after you die, but you're not going to respawn with all three anti-tank grenades. This could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Like I said, just give CTE a shot, see exactly how it plays out. But overall, I think the changes can be quite a good thing to Battlefield, but at the same time, it could also hurt the player base. A lot of people are against the auto recharge because it's not realistic. Now, Battlefield is not meant to be a simulator, but at the same time, auto recharge of grenades makes the game even more casual than what I'm already seeing. And also, they're looking into smoke grenades, uh, whether it should cover an entire single area, they're looking to try, try and buff it, I guess. Uh, but pretty much, that's pretty much majority of the changes. I think that it's kind of a bad thing that they're over overly confusing this game, in my opinion. They're making it much more confusing. So for people that don't really pay attention to updates, they just play the game and hop on, this could be a bad thing, because now they're going to be wondering why the heck are my grenades not recharging? Why why do I not have a grenade when I respawn? It could deter a lot of players because of the fact that the players that don't keep track of updates, such as myself, the players that just play the game, they don't really care about the updates, you know, the, the casual people that just hop on and play with their friends for a few rounds, not the hardcore players. This could be a bad thing for them because now they're not going to be able to keep track of what's going on. They're going to be wondering why the heck do I not have a grenade when I spawn in or why are my anti-tank grenades not working? Why are they why do I only have one when I've spawned in? This is going to be extremely confusing and I think that Dice is really just overcomplicating this game when maybe the simple option could be to just up the recharge rate of your current grenades. But in my opinion, it's, it's a really a hit or miss. The only real way to figure out if it's a good change or not is to just try it out for yourself in the CTE server. So I'm going to give it a shot myself on CTE, see exactly 
how it plays out. I think it's going to be a very bad move in my opinion, but we'll just have to check CTE to see exactly how that plays out. If there's anything I missed, guys, I've left the Reddit post in the description box so you guys can read the notes for yourselves. Uh, but also, one last change I forgot to mention was that the ammo boxes are going to recharge 50 times longer, or 50% longer, should I say. Uh, this is going to help reduce grenade spam on infantry maps such as Fort Vaux. But uh, overall, I think the changes are going to be a bad move. Like I said, try out CTE, see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, the only thing I'm excited about are the brand new weapons and the Hell Regal variant. Let me know what you guys are excited for. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Is your boy Lycan AK signing out. Peace.